Hello, I'm Bobby Savoy, and I'm an AARP volunteer. Today's message from your state office is about Medicare's data breach. We're hearing more and more about data breaches where our personal information has been compromised. Last month, Medicare announced that one of their contractors had been hacked and the personal information of 612,000 Medicare beneficiaries were stolen. The security breach put social security numbers, birth dates, driver's license numbers, health insurance claims, medical history notes, prescription information, and other personally identifiable information at risk. Anyone whose information was compromised in the breach will be notified by Medicare and offered two years of free credit monitoring. But remember this, your personal data may remain at risk for several years. However, even if your data weren't stolen, this incident reminds us all of one stark reality. We have little control over much of our personal data. So many companies and government entities have our personal data, and so many have been hacked in the past that the most practical thing for people to do is assume that your information is out there and take the necessary precautions. Two things you can do to protect against identity fraud are one, to check your credit reports regularly for suspicious activity at annualcreditreport.com, and two, be sure that you are using strong and unique passwords for all websites and storing them securely. We can all be fraud fighters. If you can spot a scam, you can stop a scam. Together, we can fight back to protect ourselves from these criminals. You can contact the AARP Fraud Watch Network at aarp.org slash fraudwatchnetwork to learn how to proactively spot scams or to get guidance if you've been targeted. Or you can call our dedicated helpline at 1-877-908-3360 to speak to a fraud specialist. Stay safe and stay vigilant, and together we will defeat these criminals.